In part one, we learned that these meds either prevent or enhance the action of the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which allows communication between nerve cells and muscle and plays an essential role in the parasympathetic nervous system. Anticholinergics inhibit the parasympathetic nervous system by blocking acetylcholine, while cholinergics stimulate the PNS by enhancing acetylcholine. And this means they are stimulating the rest and digest response, which you can remember the R and para for relax or rest and digest. And since the body is relaxing here, it allows the blood to go to other organs like the GI tract, kidneys, muscles, etc. So you can expect to see memory enhancement, pupil constriction, increased secretions, decreased heart rate, GI tract and bladder stimulation, and improved muscle tone. Although there are multiple positive uses of this drug, such as in Alzheimer's and myasthenia gravis, it's important to know the possible side effects, and sludge is a common mnemonic used to memorize them. And this includes increased secretions, tear production, urination, and sweating, as well as GI distress and emesis due to increased secretions and GI motility. And important to note that the antidote for cholinergics is atropine, which has the opposite effect of cholinergics. I hope you found this helpful and check out the full study sheet in the Nursing School Success Bundle.